Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick review on a product that I just got to make a transition for myself uh, from this beast of a wallet uh, with the chain to this Ross Rossum uh, wallet style wallet. Um, it's a basically like a Ridge wallet knockoff. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I think the Ridge wallet was like 80 plus dollars. Um, and I think this is 25 on, on Amazon. And I've seen a couple of videos uh, on YouTube already talking about this Rossum wallet versus the Ridge wallet. And it's almost identical except for, I guess, some of these edges are a little bit hard. Uh, where the um, the Ridge wallets are are beveled a little bit. I mean... I, I really, that doesn't really bother me, like, at all, so, um, I decided to try this just because Amazon, and if I didn't like it, I could just return it. Basically, from what I've seen online, the Ridge Wallet arrives, like, in almost the exact same box, um, obviously, um, doesn't say Rossum on it, but open the box up, you have your little instruction guide. Um, I think same with the Ridge Wallet, they give you extra screws for it, the Ross, or the, the Ridge Wallet and the Rossum, like, both come with the same little screwdriver, uh, I, I, from the videos I've seen, it's literally the same screwdriver, uh, this just says Rossum on it, I don't think the Ridge Wallet one says anything on it, and then... Another difference, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm not sure on the ridge, I can't speak for the ridge, but this actually comes with the money clip for the back of this. So currently, currently it just has the elastic band with a, a flat piece that holds everything on there. You can pull two of these screws out, fasten this money clip on, and, and work with that. Uh, I mean, I like that they include that as an option, um, and not make you pay for it uh, kind of gives you that that uh, interchangeability uh, if you don't like the elastic strap you can try the, the money clip um, so for me this was uh, this was a little a little tough only because uh, I'm kind of weird I, I like when I leave the house I have to make sure um, like I, I'm uncomfortable if I don't know that I have my wallet with me. Like I do the, the right butt cheek tap to make sure that it's there, uh, which is another thing we'll touch on, but I do the butt cheek tap to make sure it's there. And then, um, you know, this kind of, uh, you know, I mean, I have, I have motorcycles. I'm not a biker dude, but this is more for literally my peace of mind, knowing that I have my wallet attached to my, my person uh, than any type of fashion statement at all. So uh, this is like my peace of mind, knowing that my wallet is literally tethered to my belt loop um, and I can't drop it or lose it or leave it somewhere. Um, it's not any type of statement whatsoever. Um, but... <clears throat> In contrast to each other, this is kind of kind of one of the reasons why I did this. Um, you know, this is this is a this is something that I've I've started to carry in my front pocket now. Um, it's been about three or four days that I've I've swapped this stuff over, but this thing uh, basically back pocket only. You know, I, I'm I'm in the maintenance industry, so like if I'm rolling around on the ground, you know, basically have to unclip my wallet, set it aside, set it in my tool bag or something, uh, so I'm not just rolling. I mean, this is this is empty for the most part now, but when it was full, it was probably twice as thick. You can kind of see that bump there, but uh, you know, it's got two sections. You can put bills in it. On both sides, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm not saying I hate the wallet. I'm just saying I'm trying something different. But this thing, uh, even sitting down, uh, kind of wore on you after a while. 
and hence the reason why I wanted to try this. So I went through this. <clears throat> I consolidated cards out of it. Thought, well, do I need this? Do I don't? Basically, bare essentials. This is supposedly able to hold up to 12 cards, I believe. Um, I don't want to carry 12 cards with me, so I, I have my driver's license, uh, credit card, debit card. Um, I have an insurance card for the bike. Uh, I have my license to carry. Um, maybe one or two other things that are in here that I've, I thought were kind of essential. And that's it. Um, so I'm, I'm trying this again. I, and I also got some cash folded up and, and stuck in the back there. So, um, it seems really nice. I think it's more of a mental thing for me right now to get used to this and not having this strapped to my belt loop via a chain, um, is going to be something that we'll see how I react over time. But I like this. I mean, I noticeably just sitting in my truck, uh, feel a lot better not sitting on this wallet. So, um, another thing that this kind of drew my eye on was that it was, uh, RFID resistant, I guess. So, you know, nobody can get your info by walking past or I don't, not really sure how that works, but, uh, obviously just leather alone isn't going to stop somebody from trying to scan your card. There needs to be, um, something that is resilient to that in between your cards. So that was another reason why I did it. Um, again, this is the, the cheap alternative to the Ridge wallet. Um, and I, I kind of like it. This is the Rossum. I went with the carbon fiber, but they have a whole bunch of, of other options available. This was got on Amazon. I think it was 25 or $30. Um, again, uh, I'm not saying that this is the end for this, but definitely wanted to give this a whirl. Uh, the only thing that it's going to take some time uh, for me to get used to is the whole interaction between getting the cards out um, individually. I don't know if there's a trick to that. I haven't figured it out yet, but um, I'm one of those guys that I go to the gas station or something to get a couple monsters and I get annoyed by the people the people in front of me that want to have uh 30 second or a minute and 30 second interactions with the the cashier like you got six other people behind you and you want to sit and talk and I the last thing I want to do is be fumbling around with trying to get these things out um just to be courteous to the people behind me so I'm just trying to figure this out yet but so far I like it um Again, the only difference that I have seen between the Ridge, uh, I guess I should say that the two differences between the Ridge and the Rossum, the Ridge is 80 plus dollars. This is 25 and change, I think, on Amazon. And this has the hard edges, which, I mean, if you're a dude and you're, you're complaining about that, like, I mean, let's get real here. Um, if you wanted, you could take a deburring tool and just run it across it or, you know, a piece of sandpaper or, or something and, and knock the edges down. But that doesn't bother me uh, whatsoever, um, especially when it's a 60 plus dollar savings versus the Ridge. So I'm going to carry this for a while and see how it turns out. And uh, that's kind of like my pseudo review. Not really much else to it. It's It's banded together by this elastic piece here. And then when you pull the cards out, I don't want to pull my stuff out on camera. When you pull them out, you know, it, it expands and contracts depending on how many cards you put in there. Um, and then you slide it down this top section here. And again, you could you can add the money clip to the back uh, instead of this piece. And um, it's, <laughs> it's mucho smaller than my previous rig. So that... That is, is kind of nice. Uh, like I said before, for me, I think it's just going to be the mental game of not having a chain. I mean, I guess I could run a self-tapper in there with a chain. Joking, of course. But, um, yeah, that's basically my review of the Amazon 
knockoff Ridge wallet um, comparison to a, I don't even know if you would call this a traditional wallet. Um, traditional, I think, would be like a bifold. This is more of a, a biker wallet. Uh, again, I only I only did it for my, my mental sanity, knowing that my wallet was attached to me. So just something I'm going to have to overcome switching to this. But I think the trade-offs will certainly be beneficial. All right, guys. Thanks a bunch. And uh, catch you with the next one.